Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to um, create a void, which um, uh, model a void, which is, it's like um, cutting something out of a shape um, in a way. Um, you'll see, I'm going to do it to show when you put in a sink onto a countertop, you don't have the countertop like going through your sink and I'll show you, you'll see what it looks like. So to start off, I'm going to put in some cabinets here, Just zoom in two countertops in, and then I'm going to create a um, countertop by modeling in place a component. So I'm just going to count this uh, countertop, and then I'm going to, I'm going to set the plane, uh, picking the plane, and if I go into 3D, I can click the top of To put the top of there, so now the plane is set, and I can now do my extrusion. I'm going to use it's going to be just an inch tall off the countertop, and I'm going to use an offset of an inch. I'm going to get it nice and perfect there. I'm going to use the pick line tool, and I'm just going to go off of the cabinets here. Okay. Oops, let's try that again right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to trim extend some of these corners. Okay, so that's good. We're now gonna click okay. We go into 3D, we're gonna see that I have a countertop in there, <coughs> which is good. Now, before we even go out of this, I am going to, well, first I'm gonna show you what the sink looks like. So I'm gonna go from the top, I'm going to click a component, and I'm going to do a sink. Let's see, it's down here at the bottom. Here it is. So I'm going to do the sink. Now, I place a sink. Now, when I go in here, as you can see, the countertop is cutting off where you should see the bottom of the sink. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a void extrusion, which will cut out a hole in the countertop. Now, I'm going to measure this to make sure this is good see how much I need to cut. So go from here to here, three and a half, and then from here down here, which is one and nine inches. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm going to click in here. You have to, to get <laughs> into the model, and then you're going to do another, you're going to create another one. I'm going to set the plane. I'm going to pick, oops, I'm going to pick the countertop. There we go. And then instead of going into extrusion, I'm going to go to void forms. I'm going to go to void extrusion. And I'm going to do the rectangle tool. And I want it to go down an inch deep. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start here in the corner. It's not going to be perfect, but and then I'm going to go out, let's say, three and four inches and go down one and eight. OK. I'm going to hit check mark. And then we're going to see that it's created a void here. And what you need to do after that is then hit the cut tool and then it just cuts out what was in the way of the void. So now I can go up top and I can go into components and put in that sink again right there. And now when I go into it, you can see, now you can see the bottom of the sink, you can see the drain and stuff. So that's kind of nice. There's so many ways to use a void, but Avoid extrusion or avoid sweep or anything like that, but this is just one way I find helpful um, to do that. So yeah.